Thank you as always for watching Morning in the Mountains on the Mountain Fun Life channel. I'm Frank Murphy, and if it looks like I'm cold and I have a blanket on my lap, well, I kind of do. I'm here with uh, mm -hmm. Teresa Brazil, who is with the Coalition for Appalachian Ministry. Hi, Teresa. Hi, it's nice to be here. And you've got a craft fair on September 20th and 21st. So some of these beautiful items that you've brought to display, including this really great quilt, a purple and flowers quilt. Uh, these are the type of items that are for sale? Yes, yes. These are some of, uh, representative of some of the crafters that will be at the craft fair. We will have quilters, we will have woodworkers, this gentleman will be here with birdhouses. Oh, wow. Um, well, this, let's talk about the uh, one at a time. That wood you pointed yes. out first, it looks like a checkerboard, but actually it's more like a cheese tray. It, uh, I mean, you could do anything with it, really. But tell me about the different wood. Okay, this is um, a local gentleman, yeah. uh, a young man that's just getting into woodworking. And this is two different kinds of woods. This is walnut and maple. Uh, mixed together me, three kinds this is cherry I believe oh. and he has cut the wood and and fixed it together don't ask me how yeah um, and it's made a little dish it could be used for keys change yeah uh, candy checkers you could put checkers, checkers. in there <laughs> you could do checkers um, nice and uh, these are a few of the other things that will be there All right. our crafts at the craft shop are handcrafted, handmade items from yes. folks throughout Appalachia. Like I noticed the Hobbit House. I know some yes. of my friends who are big fans of the Lord of the Rings trilogy would appreciate this just little carving. You would just have it as a knick-knack around the house just to enjoy the Hobbit House. That is hand-carved. Absolutely. Now, tell us about, you were started to talk about these um, placemats. Well, this is um, a local lady, her family, Goes. Let's hold that up too. Yes, this is a table runner. Oh, it's oh a runner, yeah. And it's weaving, and this is a family that has lived here in the mountains a long time, uh -huh. and her family has. She is the sixth generation weaver in her family. Wow. And this particular pattern, I had it backwards. Oh. <laughs> is called wig rose, and a little juicy bit of information. When the park had its 75th anniversary, yeah. they commissioned her to do a weaving of this for the park wow. anniversary. Oh, that's lovely. So this is another item that is for sale yes. uh, this weekend, yes. Friday, Saturday, the 20th and 21st of September. So it, this craft fair is an annual event yes, and sir. it benefits the, your ministry. It does, yes, sir. The it Coalition does. for Appalachian, Appalachian ministry. ministry. which is. CAM for short, C-A-M, mm -hmm. and we have a Mission Craft Shop right there on Wires Valley Road. Oh, I see a picture of it. So if you're yes. in Pigeon Forge mm -hmm. at the Parkway and Wears Valley, you just head down, what is it, 11 miles? 11 miles from Pigeon Forge on Wires Valley Road. Right before, or right at the, the county line? Right at the Blunt, Sevier County line. We're really easy to find. We're right beside the road. Oh, nice. And uh, this is a hand-carved bowl of, uh, of cedar, mm -hmm. eastern red cedar, and of course the quilts and every other type of thing. Yes. So over the years, how long have you been involved in this ministry and this craft fair? The ministry I have been involved with for uh, 15 years. Wow. And the annual fall craft fair is in its 11th year. Now, what are some of the things that you remember? I mean, you probably have bought more than one thing. Oh, yes. Uh, what's something that you purchased that is dear and near to you at your home? Well, I have, um, one of my favorite things is a little hickory nut doll that's about this big. Yeah. And it's, the head is a hickory nut. <laughs> and uh, she made, the lady made the dress, everything. Oh, and she's wow. really tiny, but really cute. So that's the kind of thing that the earlier settlers might have made to make mm -hmm. toys for their family or yes. a birdhouse for the, or any of these types of things. And I have some of this weaving. Yeah. I have a quilt that one of my crafters made. Um, stays on my bed a lot. Now what about you, Teresa? What do you like to do as a crafter? Well, this is the joke. Um, everyone asks me that question. Sure. I cannot craft. Oh, come on. 
really. <laughs> yeah. I cannot craft. So your gift is to get out and help your crafters sell their wares. Yes. That's, that's your gift. What we do at the craft shop is I represent them. We sell the crafts for them. A lot of my crafters are going to be senior citizens. Yeah. And this helps supplement those low incomes for them. Oh, that's them. beautiful. So this craft fair is a big day, September 20th, 21st, yes. Friday, Saturday, to go buy everything at once. But the shop is there year-round. It, yes, it is. And we can find you there year-round. Yes, you can. All <laughs> right. 11 miles from Pigeon Forge, Wears Valley Road, right before you get to Townsend. So technically, your mailing address is Townsend, but it's easier to say, get there from Pigeon Forge, 11 miles. Right. Yes, sir. It's easier. Yes, sir. Well, delightful. Well, Teresa Brazil, thank you so much for telling us about the Center for Appalachian Ministry and about these beautiful craft items, which I guess I have to give back to you now. Yes. I can't stay here. Of course, you can buy it. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I'll have to bring my my checkbooks to work starting next week. (laughs) You're watching Morning in the Mountains on the Mountain Fun Life channel. Thank you again, Teresa Brazil. We'll be back with more coming right up.